Well, clear blue skies for all of us here in the Concho Valley. That was also what happened last night, and that's why we saw all the heat escape, allowing a light breeze. And yes, we did get below freezing. It took its time to warm up. We're currently at 66 here in San Angelo. A nice breeze coming in from the northeast, about 10, to, about 10 miles per hour, some from 5 to 10. We're seeing most in the mid-60s, a little bit warmer along I-10. We're seeing junction at 68, same for Arizona. Seeing a little bit warmer further south for them. The winds have been dying down. A few gusts have gotten a little bit stronger, seeing about 13 miles per hour towards Eden and San Angelo at 17 for our gusts, but consistently 5 to 10 miles per hour from the north and northeast. We'll continue that as we go into tonight. We'll be getting into the mid-30s again for us because clear skies and a nice light breeze allowing a lot of our heat for the day escaping, giving us a nice chilly start to our weekend. But it's going to be getting to those 70s coming back for us. 73 for your Saturday. Plenty of sunshine and a light breeze. We're seeing already the switch. We'll be going from the east overnight, southeast into Saturday, and then going in from the south as we go into Sunday. So seeing warmer air slowly coming back for the Concho Valley. Even seeing that with our overnight lows, 43 from Saturday into Sunday morning, and then hitting 75 again. Then on Monday, we're going to be watching for our rain chances. So for this weekend, Pretty nice, pretty quiet, staying in those mid-70s for everybody and overnight lows into the 40s. By Monday late, we're starting to watch this upper atmosphere trough and then that surface low pressure that's going to be coming through, giving us a push of that cold front that's going to bring us those rain chances coming through on Monday. But it doesn't give us that big little bit of that cool air. It used, That cool air is actually staying more to the north. We're still seeing warmer air for us here in the south. So we'll stay in those low 70s for a couple of days as we go into Wednesday and even into Thursday a little bit. But we have another system behind that could be bringing us some more rain chances as well. You can already see that out towards the west. So throughout this week we'll have Monday those isolated chances coming through and same for Wednesday and into Thursday as that pushes across our area looking Wednesday 10 o'clock at night starting to see another cold front that's going to be coming through giving us those rain chances and I know a lot of people are already thinking March everyone's watching the basketball games and we're also watching for our severe weather and so one way you can get all of those information from one place Contra Valley homepage app all you got to do is download even scan that QR code and we'll get you all that information that you need even as we go into a very nice weekend. Mid-70s, it is going to stay quiet, but we'll keep you informed of those rain chances as we go into Monday. See, you didn't see that cool down just yet. We'll see it a little bit more on Wednesday when we see some low 70s and upper 60s for us on that second push, that second cold front coming through on Wednesday, giving us some more rain chances. But for the weekend, looking nice with mid-70s.